Hello everyone, this is a review of the new Sensational Scented Wax Melt scents that just came out um, in January, uh, over the past few weeks. Some of these are available on the Sensational's website, some of them are available at Walmart, some have not yet made their way to Walmart, so it's still you know, pretty early. The, the top row and the rainy day can be found on the sensationals.com website, whereas the rest, um, I believe, may be exclusive to Walmart, but maybe they can also be found at, at, at Majors or Kroger if you're in a state that, that has those stores in your area. If they're not there yet, they, they will be probably within the next week or two. So, um, I'll just quickly go through each one. We have Sensational's Daydream, Pink Velvet, Love Letters, Egyptian Cotton, Himalayan Pink Salt, Rainy Day, Ice Lemon Sugar Cookies, Violet Sugar, Passion Fruit Coconut, Isla Bonita, Tropical Fuse, Petal Showers, and the Dazzling Sky Duo. So I will start with Daydream. Okay, the label says Lush Greens and Spiced Jasmine. And this is a nice bright green color. And this, this is a kind of a green plant type floral. It's not overly sweet like a flowery floral. It's more like a like a sweet green grass with a little bit of jasmine wafting in the air. It also has a, a hint of spicy perfume, just enough to make it not quite a floral, but somewhere between a floral and a perfume. Um, the throw is fairly good, maybe a 3 or a 3.5 out of 5. I really like this one. Um, I'd say I have a, from 1 to 5, it's probably like a 3 or 3.5 out of 5 in terms of how much I like it only because I have so much wax and after a while they all start to smell the same. But it's a, it is a very nice scent. Even if you don't like florals, it's not an over-the-top, sweet, flowery floral. Pink Velvet says here, a lovely blend of sugar and vanilla. And this one, this, this one is kind of like a, it's kind of a cross between Mm, it, it's kind of like a cross between um, Sensational's Pretty in Pink. In fact, I have Pretty in Pink here. If we see the two of them together, they actually look kind of similar. It's a cross between Pretty in Pink with maybe uh, uh, vanilla and almond added. So basically, it's it's... A pretty in pink is like a light, a light pink sugar type scent, like cotton candy with a hint of sweet perfume. So pink velvet is almost like a mixture of pretty in pink, but it also adds vanilla, which kind of tones down the sweetness. Plus there's a little bit of almond in it. I definitely smell almond and maybe a smidgen of raspberry. So it's kind of like a grown up bakery version of pretty in pink or maybe a raspberry macaroon with just a slight hint of raspberry. The throw is very good, around a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5, so it's a very good, excellent throw. Love Letters. Uh, this is one that people really like. It's, it's a very, very nice scent. Oops. All right, let me try that again. Love Letters. Uh, it says cedarwood, vanilla, and almond. This is, and I love the color too, it's like an old-fashioned rose color. It's a very nice, kind of a cashmere, amber type scent with a, with a perfumey note and there's something else that's kind of milky. I couldn't put my finger on it until I saw that, oh, okay, it's got almond. So I do smell almond. It's not as much almond that's in pink velvet. Of course, pink velvet doesn't have a lot of almond either, but it's very subtle in love letters. Um... This is not a, a dupe for any other sensational scents that I know of. I haven't smelled anything else like it. And now that I see the scent notes, yeah, I can, I mean, I can see the vanilla. I do smell that. The almond, I do. The cedar wood, yeah, you know what? Maybe I, maybe I do detect a smidgen of cedar. But, um, kind of like a perfumey vanilla 
type almond scent. It's very nice, however, the throw is not good. The throw is very bad. It's maybe a 1.5 or maybe a 2 out of 5. So it would do well in a very small room, a small bedroom or, or a bathroom. Egyptian cotton, a delicate blend of light floral and white musk. I love this scent. It is fantastic. And it is probably the reason I love it so much is it smells a lot like, I mean, it smells almost exactly like Sensational's Vintage Lace, which I also love. Vintage Lace is kind of an old-fashioned, an old-fashioned perf musky perfume scent, almost like a white shoulders type scent. This is very similar. There are some very subtle differences. This is kind of a, a warm cashmere. It's like a bit of a lighter, sweeter, fabricy fabric amber scent mixed with that old-fashioned white musk from the Sensational's Vintage Lace. It's not a laundry scent. There's no harshness. There's no clean detergent notes. But it might be maybe a very slight fabric softener note. Um, basically kind of smells like the Sensational's Vintage Lace mixed with maybe a little bit of the Sensational's Crisp Linens to kind of temper that sweetness. So if you don't like Vintage Lace because it's too sweet, but you like it otherwise, Egyptian Cotton you will probably really, really like because it's like Vintage Lace, but not quite as sweet. Um, throw is very good, excellent. It's a maybe a three or a 3.5 out of five. Very good throw, one of my favorite scents. Himalayan Pink Salt. This is also a favorite. I love this one. I'm gonna stock up on it. A lot of people that have this say they really like it as well. Um, this, it says, an invigorating blend of eucalyptus and jasmine. This is kind of a, kind of a, a sweet, slightly masculine scent. It's not a, it doesn't really smell like a floral despite the jasmine. Any floral sweetness is kind of tempered by the eucalyptus, which adds a clean, soapy, masculine, almost a peppery note that makes it smell a little like a sweet shaving cream, but it's not a menthol scent. It's no, it doesn't have that Vicks Vapor Rub or minty note. Um, there's also a slight salt scrub note. So I would probably classify this as a spa scent, but it's also like a fresh clean scent. Um, it's not a floral, it's almost a cologne. It's also a clean, it's maybe a spa scent. So it could be, it could be classified in a lot of different ways. I'd say I'd probably classify it as a spa scent, even though it's sweet. Very, very nice scent. Um, throw is excellent, probably like a four out of five. Really love the Himalayan pink salt. Sensational's Rainy Day might be, or very close, might be a dupe of the Sensational's Bally Shores, which this is an old package, but there is a new Bally Shores that came out. It's the same scent, but it's just a newer package. Um, and this one is, this one is kind of, this one's confusing because it really smells like a dupe of Bally Shores, although I don't know why they would have two of the same exact scent with two different names at the same time. So it's just probably very, very close to Bally Shores. Um, it says, pure water lily and the warmth of white musk. Um, it's sweet, it's watery, it's maybe a hint, there's maybe a hint of musky perfume. I'd say it's more of a fresh scent than a perfume scent. Um, might be another note in it, maybe a smidgen of salty, soapy, clean air. So maybe it's that note that differentiates it very slightly from Bally Shores, but when it's melted, it smells exactly like Bally Shores. It's really, it's one of my favorite scents. I really love this scent. The throw is very good, excellent. 3.5 or so out of five. Another really good scent. Um, iced lemon sugar cookies. This is another favorite. Oh, uh, Sensational's really stepped up their game with, with the lemon in this scent. Um, this is really unlike any of their previous lemon scented wax melts. Uh, it's kind of like a cross between a bakery lemon and a kitchen lemon, but it's, it's a very, it's, a, it's kind of like an authentic, um, it's an authentic lemon confection scent, like the filling of a lemon meringue pie with maybe a tinge of vanilla, not a lot of crust, 
um, it's sweet. It does have that slight lemon pledge note. So it could go either way. I mean, like I said, it's a combination of bakery and, and lemon pledge, but it's, oh, it's just a really, really good scent. Excellent throw. Four out of five. Now, this one came out the same time as the new Better Homes and Gardens Iced Lemon Pound Cake. And I'm just going to do a quick comparison. In fact, um, not to get off topic too much, but one of my one of my next videos might end up being a review of all the lemon scents that I have because I was actually going to do that in this video, but then it would just make the video too long. So I have all these other lemon scents lined up. Um, I probably have like another another 20 or 30 different lemon scents that I am going to review at the same time, but not in this video. I'm just going to compare the iced lemon sugar cookies. Why is that blurry? There we go. The new Sensationals iced lemon sugar cookies with the new Better Homes and Gardens iced lemon pound cake. And there's no comparison. They are two totally different scents. Um, the Better Homes and Gardens Ice Lemon Pound Cake is a very sweet uh, vanilla pound cake type scent. It's definitely a bakery scent with, I would say, like a lemon flavored buttercream glaze. So it's not as lemony. It's definitely, definitely more bakery. Definitely sweeter. It doesn't have any lemon pledge type type notes. So if you're not, if you like lemon, but you don't like a harsh lemon or you don't like, or, or you don't like a lot of lemon or you don't like a kitchen lemon, ice lemon, the Better Homes and Gardens ice lemon pound cake is the one you'd want. If you really like lemon, you don't mind the kitchen lemon scent, um, the Sensationals ice lemon sugar cookies is the way to go. Next we have Violet Sugar and this is another favorite um, oh, I'm sorry. Ice lemon sugar cookies. The label says the ultimate soft and chewy citrus treat. Violet sugar says a sweet combination of wild violet and sugar. Um, now this one is not on the Sensationals website. In fact, all the ones that were, that I'm going to show you from here on out, I got from Walmart. So these, I don't know if they're Walmart exclusives or, or what, but they're not available on sensationals.com. So the Violet Sugar is a favorite and everyone seems to love the way this one smells and it's a nice pretty purple color. Um, this smells a lot like Sensational's Blackberry Cider. Actually, I'm going to go grab that one. So here's the Violet Sugar next to the Blackberry Cider. Um, very similar scents. And I think that kind of the blackberry cider is almost like a base for the violet sugar. And then there are other notes added to the violet sugar. So the different notes are, there's kind of a, a little bit of a, of a floral and possibly a very slight smidgen of citrus. And it's a little sweeter than blackberry cider. Um, if you're not familiar with blackberry cider, it doesn't smell like cider at all. It's a very warm, almost ambery, sweet scent with maybe a hint of blackberry. It's a very um, kind of like an upscale furniture store type scent. It, it's really a very, very classy type scent. Um, violet sugar is, I don't know if it's sweeter. It's a little more floral. Uh, it's, it's not as ambery. It's, it's very, very nice. If you like blackberry cider you're, you're gonna like violet sugar um some people had said they thought it smelled a little bit like the sugared uh, better homes and gardens sugared lavender twist um I, I don't know i mean it might have some of those notes it might almost be like a combination of blackberry cider and sugared lavender twist the only problem with this unfortunately is the throw is not good. It's maybe a two or maybe a 2.5 out of five in terms of throw. And other people have also mentioned this as well, that the throw isn't good, but it would probably work well in like a small room, a bathroom. 
and the scent also fizzled within two hours it was gone so it didn't really last that long so unfortunately this one was kind of a, a dud for me if i if i want something that smells like this i would probably just combine blackberry cider with a little bit of um better homes and gardens sugared lavender twist and i'd probably have something that smells very similar so um the next one we have is passion fruit coconut which is a delectable sweet tropical combination and here we've got this white coconut um color and i smell coconut and a slight fruity note but it's all there's also kind of like a clean fresh air note um as well as maybe a hint of amber that kind of warms it up and gives it a little bit of a foodie quality it's not a harsh coconut it's not really a typical tropical scent either i really really like the scent but the throw is not very good it's maybe a two out of five so it would work well in a small room Next we have Isla Bonita, which is a wild, a wildflower and amber sweet mandarin. And based on the description, you would think, oh, okay, this is a, a sweet, fruity floral. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> it's, I, I don't like this scent. Um, it's very, very different. Definitely a tropical fruit scent, but it's not sweet at all. It's actually a savory sour smell it's very very sour and not like a nice puckery lemon sour it's like a oh it's just it's I, I don't like it that there's no coconut notes that, that you often find in tropical scents um it says it has mandarin which is supposed to smell like orange I don't smell any orange I don't smell any citrus oh my battery's getting ready to die um, okay, that's better. Um, so yes, the Isla Bonita. Um, it's hard to describe. Um, if there is a wildflower note in this, I think, I think I do smell kind of a slight floral in the background, but because it's so sour, I don't really smell any floral sweetness. Um, I guess it's basically a sour fruit. Uh, but I, first I thought, you know, I kind of like it. It's different, but now that I'm smelling it again, ugh, I, I think this is one that people are e either going to like it or they're going to, or they're going to hate it. Um, I've heard from other people that the throw on this one is light, but for me, the throw was excellent, uh, around a four out of five, but I just, uh, I, I don't, I don't like the scent. Tropical fuse, a tropical fruit medley. Now, when I first smelled this, I thought, hmm going to be a very strong tropical scent well no it's it's actually very similar to the isla bonita um very very similar but not quite as sour um it's it is a sour tropical fruit but the sourness is tempered with that floral background Although it's not really sweet, the floral, floral is not really noticeable. It's more of a green, natural type floral than perfumey. And again, it's in the background. Um, it, I mean, if I had, to, I mean, I like this tropical fuse better than the Isla Bonita because it's not quite as sour, and it has a little bit, a little bit more of a floral, but it's still, it's. I can't describe it. It's almost like a tropical bathroom scent, if that makes sense. Uh, uh, um, the throw... The throw is not bad. Um, the throw is maybe like a 2.5 or 3 out of 5. Um, so the throw is not as good as Isla Bonita, but the scent is better. So, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one, too. It, it's actually not bad, but... It's a little too sour. Sensational's Petal Showers, which is petal blossoms infused with citrus and plum. And this is very light on cold sniff. It's a fruity floral, but I really can't pick out the individual notes. It kind of smells a little like scented toilet paper, but in a good way. It's, it's a nice scent. 
a little generic. I don't smell citrus. I don't smell plum. It's definitely a floral, maybe kind of like a fruity floral. But it's, like I said, it's, I can't pick, it's kind of generic. I can't pick out the individual notes. It's a nice scent. But also the throw is terrible. Uh, there's barely any throw at all. Maybe a one out of five, if that. So this might only work in a tiny bathroom. I don't even think it would work in a small bedroom. And last we have Sensational's Dazzling Sky, which is a duo. It has a scent called Sky Lantern and a scent called Amethyst Sky, um, which neither of these scents is available in a single pack. So I was really curious what they are. Um, the Amethyst Sky, the pink side, is a nice warm ambery scent kind of light on cold sniff but it's a nice scent but it had zero throw as in like I would I had to stick my face in it to even smell anything when it was melting so that one really didn't work out for me the orange side is sky lantern I haven't melted this one yet it's a really really nice kind of an ambery cedar type scent um it might be a dupe for some woodsy scent that I have, but I just don't know which one. Again, I haven't melted it yet, but it, it's really nice. So there you have it. Those are all the new sensational scents that I know of. I don't think there are any other ones that I've heard of. If there are, then of course, I'll be doing another review. And I will also be doing a review of the new... Better Homes and Gardens scents, and I wish I could show you, but I have a cord attached to my uh, to my phone now so my battery doesn't die and things are getting very blurry. So I will be doing a review of the new Better Homes and Gardens scents over the next few days. Um, so uh, you can see a, you can read a text version of this review at Scented Wax Reviews with an S at the end dot com. And you can also join our Facebook group, which is um, Scented Wax Melts uh, Retail. So you just have to add that retail in there because there are a lot of scented wax melt groups out there that are for for vendors basically to kind of market their their company. So this one our Facebook group is just for retail and store-bought wax, such as Sensationals and Better Homes and Gardens and Yankee and Sonoma and Tuscany and um, Kringle. I mean, there are, there are so many different brands out there. So that's, you know, what our Facebook group is for. We discuss different types of wax. We post pictures of our, of our wax hauls. We're really addicted to scented wax melts. And you can find the... Facebook group link um, here on the YouTube page and also on the scentedwaxreviews.com website. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video review and uh, have a great day.